let's take a look at how we made this employment application. It's just a standard table. We merged some cells here and here on the sides. I moved this right border over for the position applied for. We turned on the bottom border to get the underline. To protect the table, I selected the entire table, right-clicked, cell, protect. So the whole table is protected. Now I want to deselect just the underlined cells. So these two, cell, unprotect, cell, unprotect. And that's how I got the protected cells and how I made the table. To make sure the cell protection works, we need to turn on the Tools, Options, LibreOffice Writer, Formatting Aids, and here we see the cursor in protected areas that needs to be checked. In this example, I've given my table a header by making my text bold and then coloring in this top line using my table properties, background, and then I filled in for the row. We'll notice that this table goes over one page. We want this header to go on to the next page as well as the first page. To do that, We'll click back on our table properties, go into text flow, then repeat heading. Clicking OK. Now when we go to our second page, we've got our heading on the second page. To turn it off, we just uncheck that button. Next thing we'll notice is the text all seems tight together and doesn't look very nice. To fix that, we can do this a couple of ways. The first way is by selecting the entire table, going to Table, Select Table. Now here, I want to change the format of the paragraph, because in each cell we've got a paragraph, and we want to make some space below the paragraph. We will make this about uh, 0.26 of an inch. Clicking OK and deselecting it, now it looks a little nicer, a little more spread out. The other way, let's undo this, and we see that it's all tightly together, but still all selected. So I'm going to my table properties, and under the borders tab, we can make the space already we've got at 0.4. We've got it synchronized. We'll make this about 10, 12 synchronized. And then at the bottom, we want to make it just a little bit bigger. We'll make this one 26. Clicking OK. Now we see it spaced in from the left and the right and the top, as well as the bottom, and just a little more at the bottom. Now this doesn't look the greatest at the top. Responsible doesn't quite fit in the way we like. We need to bring out our right border just a little bit. Now it all fits in nicely. Mm -hmm.